that's why um, we position the Pi metric as a smart metric um, because it adapts to your progress um, and it becomes more intuitive um, and it goes some way to helping you uh, make some behavioral changes as you are educated about what sort of steps or activities um, give you the most health benefit. And that's so important in this day and age because when you look at the amount spent in the US, for example, um, in um, fitness as an industry, I, I read in 2019, it was around $220 billion dollars which is a vast amount of money. But when you look at the results, most adults in the US are failing to meet um, the recommended 30 minutes of just basic physical activity per week. And, and that's just walking down the road. And so there's a huge discrepancy there. And we really want to help people um, become smarter about their exercise because there is a will and intention there and people are investing in it and in a monetary term. Um, and, and that's why we, we've built our software to be an API. Um, for those of the audience don't know, that's the application. Um, <laughs> I, I, I always call it API. So it's an application program interface. And what that is, is that we integrate with other apps, other digital platforms, because we want to add and enhance what people are already doing and enjoy doing and not add something extra for them to do. So um, we see a big opportunity, particularly in the U.S., um, to enhance a lot of this intention and investment into physical activity, um, but derive more value out of it and ultimately have better health outcomes to um, prevent death from cardiovascular disease, which remains the biggest preventable killer in the U.S. and in most countries around the world. I should have had something that, uh, that I, I probably should have had in my, my, my talk was that not to not to discount that we want it's great if people if, if everyone was getting 150 minutes a week 30 minutes five days a week of of, of uh, moderate physical activity but we showed in the first paper that those who met who didn't meet that guideline but who met their pi score got the full effect on on cardiovascular mortality and, and all-cause mortality reduction Whereas vice versa, if you met your guideline minutes but didn't meet the pie score, you didn't seem to get uh, that much reduction in your risk. So meeting the pie score was even more important than just looking at the minutes. 